What's up, Diecast Collectors? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy. Today I'm bringing us with another COT Diecast view. Yep, another one of those. Gotta love it. And it is actually going to be on Mark Martin's 2010 HenrikCars.com Chevrolet Impala for Henrik Motorsports. Wow! This was a great diecast I picked up O7 Race Collectibles. And might I say, man, the variety of Mark Martin diecasts that O7 had uh, for 2010 was cool. They had the GoDaddy car, the Delphi, uh, his Car Quest car, and I think also the Honoring Our uh, Heroes car as well, which is pretty cool. But um, uh, if you guys, uh, I did not pick up the GoDaddy car or the Honor Our Heroes car because my good buddy Race Day 2011, I am not going to do a review of those because I did not pick them up. But my good friend Race Day 2011, is doing a review on those two diecasts, so check it out. I, I know he already, he already has one of those uploaded, if not both. But looking forward to review this diecast because I have a lot of nostalgia when it comes to this car, guys. Many guys might know this scheme as well for a current driver. I'll give you a hint. He drives a 24. But anyways, guys, let's go and kick off this diecast review and the official unboxing of the Mark Martin 2010 HenrikCars.com car. Alrighty, guys, we got the diecast out of its box, and wow, talk about a vibrant paint scheme, guys. Very simple, but it works well. I mean, very rarely black and blue uh, usually don't really create a vibrant paint scheme, but in this case, guys, we got ourselves a nice color combination of dark colors and vibrant colors. The black, uh, we got like black swooshes and waves that are outlined in this very, like, almost like a day glow blue really cool uh it would be cool if like the uh, actual roof rails were like day glow blue that'd be cool but i am loving the all yellow splitter that's something that that, that you know majority of the henry cars back then um especially for the cot's um for the cot era they usually had the yellow splitters which is pretty cool i mean that's something junior motorsports still kind of does um um with, with their cars but the yellow number five car man i i mean it's just as iconic as the yellow 24 but this car man it's such a simple looking paint scheme, guys, and it kind of definitely has some resemblance to, you know, the William Byron Hendrick Auto Guard card that he drove uh, last year at the Roval and the Walkins Gun race. It has some similarities, but I think this paint scheme has a lot more personality to it. I mean, first of all, you got a classic gentleman like Mark Martin, man. I mean, I still can't believe, I mean, Mark Martin's been kind of the hottest topic now, guys, since he was on Dale Jr.'s, uh, he was on Dale Jr.'s podcast, the, the, you know, like a few weeks ago and also on the NASCAR Weekly podcast. I mean, Mark Martin, man, I mean, he is probably, next to Carl Edwards, hands down, one of the most classiest NASCAR drivers out there. I mean, and I mean, for a man his age, guys, he is fit, man. I mean, talk about life goals, man. I mean, if I ever get up to, you know, that age, which won't be for many, many years to come, I mean, I'm only going to be 25 this year. <laughs> um, that's not even, like, that's, like, almost half of what Mark Martin's age is. I mean, he's even more than that, for Christ's sakes. I mean, that guy's a stud. <laughs> but it's a shame that this guy never won a Cup Series champion. I mean, 2009 was his last competitive year. And, oh, man, I mean, I, I mean, Jimmy Johnson definitely did a good job, you know, earning that 2009 one. But, man, could you imagine Mark Martin winning that, guys, after all those years of trying and almost coming close to winning the 500 as well in 2007? I mean, Mark Martin, man, he, he has had a lot of unlucky moments, man. And he... He, he'll always be considered as that driver that just came up so short. I mean, he accomplished so much in the Cup Series and also in the Bush years as well. I mean, well, he's like second all, on the all-times win list. Of course, Kyle Bush passed him. But uh, speaking of the Bush Series, guys, he did drove a car similar. Actually, he drove a car exactly just like this at, in 2007. I don't know why it took three years to finally uh, bring this paint scheme back in the Cup Series. But yeah, this is basically his 2007 scheme that he drove in the Bush Series. Um which was pretty cool because, you know, Kyle Busch also drove that car as well. But Mark Martin drove it a couple times. Um, but loving this car, guys. I love it, man. I mean, especially that front, man. That front looks very aggressive with those waves. Uh, the HenrikCars.com logo. I mean, it's practically an unsponsored car. I mean, as you guys know, the team that this guy's driving for is, you know, the iconic Rick Henrik. <laughs> you know. Owner of Jimmy, owner of the Jimmy of you know the forty eight the twenty four some legendary numbers um, in NASCAR and now the nine and the eighty eight. 
I mean, but this car, man, I, I do miss the number five a little bit. I really do. I mean, if they could bring that uh, that number back as like a throwback, that'd be cool. Or bring it back in for Junior Motorsports, that'd be nice. Um, I do have a special place with that number. I mean, th there's a lot of great memories of that. And, you know, every time I see that yellow number five, I mean, I know Kyle Busch drove, kind of drove it first. But you will immediately think, when you think of the number five or Kenner car, you're going to think of either Terry Labonte or Mark Martin. In this case, I'm glad I know a lot about Mark Martin, man, because his paint schemes, man, are just so freaking cool, man. 2020 has probably, I mean, 2009, we had some really cool schemes with Mark Martin, but the 2010 cars, man, for Mark Martin have been some of the best looking schemes I've seen for any driver out there, especially for that year, man. He had a lot of great die casts. I mean, his GoDaddy car was actually one of the first die casts that, uh, that I started collecting again, because you guys know 2009. I'll say this once and say it again. 2009, I didn't even care about NASCAR. I didn't even collect die casts. But the first two die casts I picked up in 2010, which were in winter circles, was Mark Martin's Go Daddy car from 2010 and the Tony Stewart Birkin car. So I have a soft spot when it comes to seeing Go Daddy on a Mark Martin car. But this paint scheme, man, is just so freaking cool, man. I mean, just wish they could bring uh, the, this kind of vibrant scene back with some of the Henrik Motorsports die cast. But we still, we kind of had some this year with the 2020 Chase Elliott die cast, but just nowhere near comes close to this man i mean later down the road if they could probably do a throwback of this scheme that'd be cool if william byron continues that henrik uh auto guard sponsorship that wouldn't be a bad idea i mean because he did drove this car uh mark martin did drove this car uh you know for quite a few races didn't won any in 2010 but he got like well like 11 top 10s which is very impressive i mean we all know brakazowski was supposed to be in this car but mark martin took it instead and Heck, guys, I mean, it was, uh, you know, a fun time while it lasted. I mean, uh, <laughs> with Mark Martin at Henry Motorsports. Um, as you guys know, he only drove it, uh, drove for Henry Motorsports for two years in 2010 and 2011. But it is what it is, though. Mark Martin definitely, uh, I think, definitely showed, um, and also Tales 9 as well. I can't forget Tales 9. <laughs> so three years. Correction, Brian. But... Yeah, I mean, I, I, that's all I got to say about this diecast, guys. Feel free to comment below if you guys have any thoughts and memories to share about Mark Martin and which, uh, 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 out of all the memories that you guys have known, by, 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 feel free to post some memories down below uh, about Mark Martin because I've actually met him uh, once before and he is such a classy guy. But anyways, guys, it's been OBB, the diecast news guy. Thank you so, so much for watching this diecast review of the Mark Martin 2010 HendrickCars.com COT164 uh, Chevrolet Impala for Hendrick Motorsports. If you guys enjoyed this diecast review along with other NASCAR diecast reviews, especially for the COTs, you better hit that subscribe button because I have a lot more to review for the COTs and even some 2011 diecasts very soon. But until we meet guys, this has been OBB, and I will catch you guys next time on some more diecast reviews when I get the time and energy to do some more.